Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today the third part of Lightworker Homework 3 to channel messages of light and love from the stars by Alice B. Claggett. This, the third part of Lightworker Homework 3, is entitled Ways to Ride the Waves of Incoming Light While Avoiding Wipeout. I have a photograph for you of the 2010 Maverick Surfing Competition that shows the possibility of wipeout and the possibility of riding the biggest of waves. Uh, there are two possibilities here. So here's the picture. You can see a pretty big wave. And what, here's the person here successfully riding the wave. If he had been over here, he would be in a wipeout position, but here he is on the crest of the wave, riding it successfully. As I anticipate, each of us will do as well. Uh, the legend for the image is, in quotes, 2010 Mavericks Surfing Competition, end quote, by Shalom Jakobowitz hyphen SJ1 underscore 8558 from Wikimedia Commons, CC by SA 2.0, so it's Creative Commons and I can show it to you. And the description is, in quotes, the image was taken from a boat. Here's Shalom's description of his experience. In quotes, the boat was very rocky. Many people got seasick, though. One guy in parentheses, photog, never even got any pictures. He was so sick, end quote. Here's the text of part three. While experiencing unconditional love during the last solar cycle, that was solar cycle 24, I had some encounters with antisocial personalities, sometimes termed sociopaths whose hearts have malware that allows them to drain love from others so they themselves can stay vital, but whose hearts cannot send love out. I feel that maintaining a stable energy field and neutral mind and being well grounded, as I term it in my blogs, are ways to prevent damage to the heart portal when sociopathic, what I sometimes term vampirical energy is nearby. You all may recall that some while ago, for about 10 years, I meditated with Healthy, Happy, Holy Organization, otherwise known as 3HO, and, and um, learned how to do Kundalini Yoga there, and Kundalini Yoga meditations, quite a few of them. And so the first thing I thought of with regard to staying safe during the next solar cycle, solar cycle 25, was a couple of meditations that I learned there at the Healthy, Happy, Holy Organization. And I thought I'd mention them for you in case you want to go to their website and look them up and see what you think. Maybe you'd like to try them too. The, the first is called Meditation for Neutral Mind. This is an easy meditation for neutral mind, which may help put a damper on a light worker's inclination to participate along with the archangelic forces in what Christian churches often term spiritual warfare against territorial spirits, which is to say demons or devils. Here's the link. In quotes, meditation for the neutral mind, end quote. Courtesy of YB Teachings, LLC, at Healthy, Happy, Holy Organization, and in parentheses 3HO, 
You can find it by going to their website https colon slash slash www dot the number three and then the letters h o dot o r g and then searching for meditation for the neutral mind. The second meditation is meditation for burnout. Burnout meditation is, is for healers who have overdone it a little bit and need to heal themselves and to, to avoid outside influences and just insulate themselves and rejuvenate their own energy field. This is quite a good, easy meditation for teacher burnout which I found helped stabilize my personal energy field when it is attacked by sociopathic or vampiric energy. The link is, in quotes, meditation for burn hyphen out, end quote, courtesy of YB Teachings, LLC. That's at the 3HO website https colon slash slash www dot number three h o dot o r g and then when you get there you can search for the meditation for burnout I recommend both of those meditations as tools that may be used whenever the need arises the other two meditations have to do with grounding. And the idea of grounding is that no person who's a telepath with, or, and no astral rascal who has evil intentions towards you can get to you on the astral or emotional or mental planes if you are well grounded to earth. Because grounding to earth greatly stabilizes our own energy field. That's the idea. It insulates us from all kinds of telepathy that are negative, and that's because Earth herself deeply loves us. Earth loves us and protects us, her children. The first uh, idea I had about grounding is a meditation I introduced to, to those of you who are familiar with my blog some long time ago. This is called Mother Earth Loves Me Meditation. It's a walking meditation. Um, it's very simple. You go to a natural setting and begin walking. And with every stride that you make, you think, Mother Earth Loves Me. You can do it with one step and then the next step, like left foot, Mother Earth, and right foot, loves me. Mother Earth loves me. Mother Earth loves me. And just visualize Mother Earth there with you all the days of your life and how she loves and protects and nourishes you and keeps you safe. If you'd like to know more about that meditation, you can go to my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakening with planet earth dot com and you can search for mother earth loves me in, enclosed in quotation marks and I, I feel certain you will find it there here's another technique that's pretty new. It was suggested by someone else on the astral plane while I was waking up from uh, a night's sleep. I call it placing awareness on the toes when awakening from sleep. Here's the text. On arising from sleep, I suggest placing awareness at the earliest possible moment on the toes. This will bring our personal energy out of the twilight state and into grounded alignment with planet Earth. During the last solar minimum, that vampirical danger stopped for me. Thank goodness. It could be the danger only arises 
during the ramp down that occurs after solar maximums, like that which we will be experiencing a few years after the solar maximum predicted for the year 2025. From the solar cycle 25 predicted curve in the graph in an earlier part of this homework assignment, I estimate the danger zone for light workers and healers might be from about the year 2028 to the year 2031. I followed the solar cycle prediction charts for the last solar cycle, solar cycle 24, and found that the real-life work of our Sun was not closely aligned with the predicted curve. So we will need to adjust the estimated span of years for the sociopathic danger zone as our beautiful Sun rolls out its plans in our reality over the coming years. All right, dear ones, those are the four techniques for avoiding wipeout while the surf is up during solar cycle 25. The first is meditation for neutral mind. The second, meditation for burnout. The third, the Mother Earth Loves Me meditation while walking. And the fourth, placing awareness on the toes when awakening from sleep. That's all for now. May God bless you and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.